Hey y'all, I, Rick Sky here, and I want to talk about the Mavic 3 with uh, 2020 approaching. It's pretty, man, it's somewhat, I would say, imminent that Mavic 3 is on its way. And with that being the case, what do I expect from the Mavic 3 and why? So Mavic 2 Pro, without a doubt, the best drone on the market today when it comes to video quality, video stability. You know, it's got that Hasselblad one-inch sensor. But the most revolutionary drone to date is the, uh, you know, the Mavic Mini. Smallest, lightest drone. Does not do 4K, but does do 2.7K and does 2.7K in an ultra smooth fashion. You know, even though it's not 4K video, it's very smooth, it's very high quality footage. But the Mavic 3 is gonna have to bring a lot of things to the table. Number one, it's probably gonna be a little bit smaller and a little lighter than the Mavic 2 Pro, which I love the Mavic 2 Pro. Favorite drone on the market today for me, for my professional video task. Now, you know, for ultra light pursuits where I just wanna go out and take something that's not gonna weigh me down at all, Mavic Mini is, is the go-to for that. Mavic 3 will have to have a user swappable modular camera. You know, no use, no need to re use tools like you do with the Mavic 2. Because I don't know if you know this, but with Mavic 2, you could switch between zoom camera and Hasselblad camera, but you got to use tools. Mavic 3 should be toolless modular camera. Hopefully Mavic 3 will give us the 360 degree spherical camera option. I don't know why DJI hasn't uh, dove into VR yet, you know, 360 degree spherical, whatever you want to call it, but they should. And I would love to have a VR camera on a drone. So hopefully Mavic 3 will bring us that option uh, as a, you know, as a modular camera option. You can just swap it, swap them out. Without a doubt, USB rechargeability, cap USB recharging capability. That's a feature that DJI brought to the Mavic Mini that's a game changer. Being able to recharge by way of USB off the grid, you know, battery bank, solar battery bank, you know, using a computer's USB port, a car's USB port. Being able to recharge a drone by way of USB is a game changer. So that's something that Mavic 3 should bring. Obviously, the, the OcuSync communications is excellent. Um, I don't know. I personally would not need anything better than OcuSync, but there may be some people that may. Uh, OcuSync has never failed me. So with that being the case, you know, just keep OcuSync. You know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, dude. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's what people would say. So, you know, I don't, I don't expect there to be a lot of changes with, with the communications technology, but uh, definitely the USB recharging, definitely the toolless modular camera option. Um, since DJI does not have any comp, well, and I'll get a lot of flack when I say that, but that's why I'm an independent YouTube channel and I can say what I want to say and say how I want to say it, I'll go ahead and say it anyway. Since DJI does not have any competition, I don't think the prices are going to drop. And I would love to see competition because that would probably prompt DJI to reduce their prices. Drones are super expensive. I mean, this is not a cheap hobby. But, you know, if, if they could bring us newer tech at lower prices, that would be awesome. And the way to do that is you know, for a competitor to step up and say, hey, you know, I'm going to dethrone DJI. And a lot of people have tried. Even GoPro failed. So DJI has no competition. Yep, comment below, hate speech, whatever you want to say. But that's my opinion. DJI has no, has zero competition. But if they did, it would hopefully bring newer and better drones to us at a lower price point. But since they don't have the competition, it's kind of like if you're the only person that makes, let's say that you're the only person that makes bottled water. And, you know, people have to have water. So if you were the only person that made bottled water, you could charge whatever for bottled water because it's a, it's a commodity. Um, not necessarily the same with a drone, but similar scenario where, you know, people that are addicted to drones, they've got to have drones. It's not required like water for survival. But if you're addicted to flying drones, you got to have a drone. Mentally, you got to have one. And if a new one comes out, you got to have it. And if you don't, you're not happy. So, I mean, that, that, that sounds crazy, but it's true. So, and DJI realizes that, and you know, they're the, they're the number one drone brand. So they can charge whatever they want to charge. And obviously they got to do it within reason because any company that prices themselves above what consumers are willing to pay, they're not going to sell anything. So, you know, there's a happy, 
there's, there's a little fine line there, okay, charging too much where we see a drastic reduction in the number of consumers or charging too little and it's just a flood of people buying it. So, you know, they, they kind of tweak it there and they, they test the waters and then they, they find the right, uh, the optimal price point. So, but yeah, Mavic 3, I'm super stoked about. I'm hoping, and again, I'm, you know, this is all speculation, but I'm hoping that we'll see a Mavic 3 as early as February of 2020. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, be sure to subscribe. Ring that bell icon when you do to be notified whenever I post another video. And, uh, you know, and again, expand this video's description. Excuse me, hiccups. And then click the link there to be notified. No, expand this video's description and then click the link there to find all the drones. You know, everything from Mavic Mini, Mavic Air, Mavic 2 Pro, Mavic 2 Zoom, the older DJI Phantoms, you can find it all there and all the accessories too. So I appreciate y'all's viewership. Again, um, independent YouTube channel. If you choose to support my channel, I've got links within this video's description. You know, one way to do it is, you know, shop, shop my links for drones. You can also support me on Patreon if you choose to do so. And the most simplistic form of support, hey man, just like this video, share this video, subscribe to my channel, encourage everyone that you know to subscribe to our Skies Adventure channel because it's your viewership that enables this channel to continue to exist. I'm not part of multi-channel network. You know, no, nothing wrong with people that are, but independent YouTube channel. So what you see here, it's, you know, it's all me, dude. So thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, Captain Irix Guy here. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to subscribe. It's youtube.com forward slash Irix Guy. And ring that bell icon when you do to be notified whenever I post another video. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day.